guess you all were waiting for this, weren't you? The wait is over. Welcome. And this is actually the first time I'm actually doing something like this. And I promise you will not be the last. This is Mega Man NG, and I welcome you all to my playthrough of Pokemon Sun. And this is actually the first time I'm going to be doing it with live commentary, because normally I wouldn't be doing that. However, this is not the case. And we can now choose, before we begin, we can choose our language. English, Spanish, Francais, Dutch, Italian, and even a Korean and Japanese. We're going to be doing this in English. And let's begin our game. This is one I know a lot of you are going to be looking forward to, right? Huh? What's this? We got an email from the professor. Hang on now. Give me just a sec. Hey there. Good afternoon. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah? There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. You'll find them all over. In the grass, in the caves, in the sky and sea. Here in Alola we love our Pokemon. And we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rock Ruff, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Trainer passport? Alright, may as well get to it. And you can choose between a boy or a girl. And this is my choice. Now I gotta spell out my name. Yeah, you can actually see it on the bottom screen. I'm showing both screens this time. Alright, you guys know my name. It's all pretty straightforward. Ten four, good buddy. I'll let everybody out here know you're on your way. Jose. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo! Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Jose, come help me with these boxes. So it looks like we're now heading for the Alola region. What's happening here? That's not a way how you start your game, I don't know what is. Now, three months later. We've arrived now at the Alola region. A new region means new generation and new fun. I'm up for it. Ah, K-4 
can't you just feel the warmth? The first day spent under the Lola sun. It's so warm and bright here. That's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth, go get Jose for me, would you? How cute. He's trying to look for us. There's our Wii U with the Wii mode. All right, I'm up. Hang on a minute. That's us in a nutshell. Okay, you want us to come down? We'll come down. We gotta check our book our dad gave us. Just two rules. Open the act menu with the X button and then save your game. That's pretty straightforward. Even on a tiny globe like this one, Kanto and Alola seem awfully far apart. So basically, we just came from Kanto. There's a Wii U. Cute stuffed doll, looks like Pikachu. And a ditto pillow and poke toy. They're moving boxes full of your belongings. That's all we need to see here in this place. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. So, Jose, are you pumped to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Of course! That's right, I'm gonna hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? Was that the doorbell? That's gotta be Professor Kukui. Why don't you let him in? Sure thing. Never mind, he just lets himself in. Hey there, Jose! The name's Kukui! Good to meet you, cousin! You gotta be tired after that long trip all the way out here to Alola. You feel any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Alola. It's still daytime out here, yeah? Professor Kukui? Yes, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, Mom! I just let myself in. Oh, and call me Kukui, would you? Welcome to Alola! Of course. I still remember seeing you battle the Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto all those years ago, you know? I've been in love with Alolan Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. <laughs> I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto Gym Leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, Jose. Let's get a move on to the next town over, cousin. Time for you to meet the Island Kahuna and get yourself a Pokemon, yeah. A Pokemon? Yeah, sure, the Kahuna who lives in Iki Town is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon, yeah? But don't try taking on the Kahuna yourself. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. They'll simply give my boy a Pokemon? Then those Kahunas really are worth meeting. Hurry and get ready, Jose. Your bag and hat and things are still in the boxes in your room, I think. And didn't you leave your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk in there, too? We already read through that. Oh, I bet you got a style and hat and I'll match mine, yeah. So now we gotta go to our room and change. And that man we met was Professor Kukui. And apologies if the voice for it wasn't up to par. Checked out the moving boxes and we got our stuff. Yeah, it does fit me rather well. But at least in this game, you can actually customize how you wear. I hope. You look ready for anything now. 
Have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Woo, that's a styling hat, cousin! Indeed. Your mom there. She's sure looking forward to you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's get going to Iki Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from the island Kahuna. Oh, yeah! Yeah, this is pretty much how this is gonna start. And yeah, I've gotta admit, look at this game, look at it! It's, it just looks so much better. Hey now, the heat gave you, I said we go this way! Alright, alright, let's move it then. I gotta say, it looks a lot better here than the previous gen. Now this is more like it, yeah! Welcome to paradise, cousin! This is the Alola region. Folksy and Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together too. After all, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon helping you out here. That's why we gotta get you to the Kahuna. First, we're off to Iki Town. Come on, it's not far if we cut up here. Well, as long as I can enjoy the ride, I'm fine with it. Hey, you! You thought you're having a good time strolling around Alola. You made me want to dash around too, and I bet I can go even faster with you. Holding B will make me a B-dasher, and it makes me look pretty dashing too. As if I already knew that enough. And now we hit Route 1. The power of science is amazing. A simple press of a button and you can trade Pokemon or battle with the people around you. Crazy how that's far, and we're now already at Gen 7. Should be able to reach it. So, Jose, you're loving a little already, yeah? Yeah, of course! That's what I like to hear. The more you love Alola, the happier I'll be. Oh yeah, look there. Looks like an excited Alolan trailer's come to us. Professor Kikui, you gotta recommend another move for me sometime. Please? Why? You already know which moves you want to use, yeah? You come find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move, and then I'll battle you. So now where are we going? See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into the tall grass here. Yeah, try to cast some wild Pokemon to add to your team. Then trainers go up against one another and battle with the Pokemon they love. Come on, you ghosts! How's it? You're that new kid that just flew in? Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime! Having Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with other people, see? Now let's get moving. Iggy Town is right over there. I'm going to be spending most of my days trying to train my Pokemon all while going through this game. And now we're at Iki Town. And we're here! This right here is Iki Town. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches all over, over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? Huh? What's going on here? We were supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah? Maybe they're all back there on Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are. Yeah. Jose, do me a solid and go find the island Kahuna. I'll wait around here to make sure we don't miss each other. The island Kahuna? You can't miss him. He looks just like a Kahuna. That's not a good, accurate description. But uh, whatever, let's do it. Now what? Really? You want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. That girl! That girl who we met earlier. We need to check this out. What mysterious creatures. Pokemon sometimes leap right out of the grass to help people in trouble, did you know? Well, that's pretty awesome. But now let's head inside this cave. 
And this is the Mahalo Trail. Not much else to say here, though if you play the special demo version, you pretty much get an idea. Huh? It's her! You can't come out! We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you! Then we better move it! I hope we can make it! Uh oh, not good. Not good at all. It's you, huh? What's wrong? Help, save Nebby. Trapped by them, Spiro. Those Spiro are attacking it, but... But I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. You don't have to worry. Just leave it to... Uh oh. And yeah, this bridge is acting old. Any further than that bridge would have broke down. What was that? Oh. Oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No. I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. And I couldn't even help you in return. Wait, what? What is that? A sparkling stone? It feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I am so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Who are you? I think this stone must belong to you. That's the sparkling stone. Please, don't tell anyone about this. About seeing Nebby. It's... It's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. More like it's a secret to everybody. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask it, but do you think you can see us back to town? Sure. How could I say no to that? But still, whatever that thing was, it saved our hides. And the least the girl can do is tell me who she is. I may as well follow her back. Hey, Jose! Looks like you missed the kahuna, yeah! But you found my assistant! Oh, yeah! 
Looks like you already met, but just in case this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes. You can call me Lily. And Lily? This here is Jose. He just moved here to Alola. Take good care of him. So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back. Kahuna Hala has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all Lola, yeah! Have I missed something? Nah, but where you go out to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Whenever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahunahala. Nebi was being attacked by Spira on the plank bridge when this boy helped me get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Woo! That's not me don't hear every day. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems I shouldn't trust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. We'll make a fine trainer out of him. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui have told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. First is the grass-type Pokemon, Roulette. Looks like an owl, but it's so cute. Next is the fire-type Pokemon, Litten. And last is the water-type Pokemon, Poplio. Which Pokemon will you choose as your partner? I can't even decide what to do. Normally, most people who upload who would upload games like this would have the fans decide. But me, I'm trusted by my own instincts. But which is also today's QOTD. What Pokemon would you choose as your partner? Me? I'm gonna be choosing the grass type Rowlet. Besides, it's tradition. Will you choose the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet? Yes! And it's tradition that I follow grass types every generation, from Bulbasaur all the way to now. Only when you have both chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. So let us see if little Rowlet there also decides to choose you. We have its gaze fixed on us. We can already tell it's a yes for us. This looks a bit tickled. Oh, so little Rowlet has accepted you as well, Jose. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. Would I want to give him a nickname? No. Now we got Rowlet added to our party. Nice to meet you, Rowlet. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. That's it, Osne. Now you got a Pokemon, you're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah? 
And here's a lovely gift for me to help make it special, cousin. A Pokedex. A Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah? That can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new pal partner, Roulette, is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out! And this is a trainer passport that I have put together for you. Now, why don't you go introduce your new friend to your mom, Jose? Good idea. Now let's take a look at the Pokemon that we got. This is Roulette. And yes, most Pokemon, when you do get it, it's male. But if you're kind of lucky, you soft reset repeatedly after you save it to see if you get a female. And this here is Roulette, a grass and flying type. It has three attacks. It has tackle. It has leafage. And it's pelted its target with leaves. And it has growl. And its nature is a bold nature, with its characteristic strong will. Fair enough. I'm gonna be enjoying it for sure. And in addition, there's also the trainer passport, which provides information. You have money, unlike. But the good thing is that in this generation, this game here, you start off with 5,000 money instead of 3,000 like in every other. And it also has a portrait photos and stuff. I see. You can also do like a photo shoot. That's pretty cool. I see. So this is pretty much like a journal. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to be enjoying this for sure. Anyway, so now let's head ourselves back home and show our new Pokemon. Who's that? Hey, you and me. Let's have a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Where's the fire boy? And what kind of Pokemon matter would that be where you don't even give a name first, eh? Yeah, it would help. Fair enough. Then I'm How, and my partner is Poplio. Your Rowlet looks really cool, too. Thanks. Yeah, so let's battle. I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Icky Town, so I've been all over looking for you. Um. I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Oh yeah, your first battle already! Just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins! Woo! I appreciate you being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no holds barred battle from the both of you. Alright then, you wanna fight? I'll give you a fight. You'll battle me, right? I know you will, right? And I won't lose! Alright, this is going to be great! Very well then, let the Pokemon battle begin! <laughs> yep, now we tackle against Hal. And he sends out his own Pokemon, Poplio. But fortunately we bring out Roulette. Both of us start off as level 5. Really start the fight off with Water Gun? Is it really that fast? Not very effective. But here, I'll give you a bit of leafage. And I'll just keep, keep at this. But he'll pretty much do the same. Eat leafage, bub. This fight's already over. You can tell you need you have a type advantage here. Sorry, Pop Leo. And the best part, we level up to level six. Mm-hmm. But its speed not that great. Ooh, ah! We tried. And you notice I pressed the Y button, right? Now we can do this, give our Pokemon tender loving care. Pet them gently and make them very affectionate towards you. And we can also give them Pokemon beans. We can get them in a cafe area. And sometimes they get dirty. When that happens, we need to clean them up. It also heals status conditions as well, such as poisoning or paralysis. So instead of items, you can use this and that'll make it easier. And we can also switch our Pokemon. Pokemon that become very affectionate will battle with Zest. What do I need to do? Oh yeah. 
nuts. It's sweaty. We need to get it cleaned up. This is what we're supposed to do for drying wet Pokemon. There you go. That's how it's done. I think we've seen about enough. But you get an idea, right? You can do this after every battle and help clean things up easier. Hoo-wee! That gave me chicken skin! Jose, right? Your roulette was awesome! Now that settles it. I'm going all out tomorrow. Hmm? Jose? Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? How did he know? You mean this? Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Jose? Yeah, it rescued me. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Jose, because that is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. It would seem that you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe today though, Jose. Lily, you two should come with us too, yeah? Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes. I will keep an eye on... That thing. Oh, you. Would you not try to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? It happens. It truly does happen. Welcome back, Jose. So, what kind of Pokemon did you get? Don't keep me waiting. Oh, I think I'm falling in love. So why did you choose this, sweetheart? Because it's cute. What else? Well, then you picked right, because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Even Meow seems a bit jealous. Well, after a good night rest, I think that would pretty much cover it. Now, the next day. What a stunning sunset. Alright, today's the day I finally unpack... Now what? What was the doorbell? Go see who it is. Yeah, let's check it out. Who is at the door? It's the professor. Hey there, Jose. It's about time we set up for the festival, yeah? But first, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer with a, your own Pokemon and all, I've got to show you something. Come with me out to Route 1. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon, pal. Me and Meow will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Alright, then let's head to Route 1. I think after this, that'll pretty much be it for this part. Jose! Hurry it up, cousin! Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility! Dude, you learn to relax. I'm on my way. Right here, right? Yeah, over here! So you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you in the tall grass, yeah? Now if you got Rowlet there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah. You can also try to catch them, woo! I'm gonna show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize. I'm paying attention. And there's the pick a pack.
All right, good. But it's now countering with a peck attack. Not effective. You gotta weaken a Pokemon up a bit before you try lobbing a Pokeball at it. Fifty Pokeballs. This guy got a lot. And there you go, we got pick a pack. Rather he did. Oh yeah. Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they're close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah? But if your Pokemon get all tuckered out by fighting for you, just head home for a bit. If you ask your mom, I'm sure she'll let you and your whole team rest up at home. Or you can do some potions. Here, have some Pokemon, I mean, here's some Pokemons and potions to get you started out. We got 10 Pokeballs, as well as a few potions. Five. And with the money we get now, we got a lot more. Why don't you have a little adventure on your own on the way to Aki Town, yeah? Take good care of Jose, Rowlett. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it, cause next part we're gonna catch some Pokemon and then head for the festival. So that's it for this week's, I mean, this part of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Special thanks to Nintendo for providing me a copy of this game, and it's been one that I really am looking forward to. I will see you guys in part two. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me, and I can't say it enough how hyped I am for this. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. See you in part two.